hi everybody welcome to reality buzz tv i want to talk about this it's an article here itiko okay <laughs> Kurumo High Grade English in this channel. I am telling you. I want to talk about this article that talks about how Soresha is feeling about how she's doing on the new season of Real Housewives of Durban. And also she's talking about how it's like to be rich, rich, you guys. I always say that her and her husband own the whole of KZN, okay? But then again, also Umam Kize and Bisane also owns part of KZN. Maybe they own 50-50. My Ibangaji KZN, you know, all of the malls, everything thing is owned by them <laughs> anyway guys of course orisha is the rich rich housewife okay i don't think that there's anybody else on the cast that we can say is as rich as sorisha but georgia is also rich you guys but sorisha the difference between sorisha and georgia is that she doesn't really talk much about her riches whereas also oh georgia every second sentence she reminds you she's rich listen you guys i don't know how it feels like to be rich maybe if i was rich i would also just want to talk about it all the time you know you'll be ordering a drink at the restaurant and i'll be like can i have this drink by the way i'm very very rich okay <laughs> anyway you guys i'm gonna see you guys please tell me in the comment section am i the only one that misses sorisha season one you know and it's not that i don't like the messy sorisha the outspoken sorisha i like the messy sorisha because we like the mess in a reality tv show but i kind of feel like i want her to mix it up a little bit you know i want her to give it's nice when we are surprised by how messy sorisha is you remember when she the first time she said for sec we were like hey bo sorisha can't do us with connie camille's for sec you know so i don't like it now that we and we don't get surprised by her getting messy so i kind of do miss a little bit of season one sorisha i hope she can bring it back and then balance it a little bit okay energy never lies it says uh r h o d sorisha nigel this is a story written by you see i tell you for drum magazine so it says here there is rich and then there is rich rich and definitely sorisha is rich rich and this picture is interesting because behind her is uh <laughs> the girl who is financially overstretched okay <laughs> even when you are financially overstretched you can still hang out with the rich rich people and that is what the real housewives of devon's uh social uh sorisha and i do is she is rich rich so Risha speaks to drum as the country enjoys the fourth season of their much loved reality show she says that type of world requires great responsibility listen you guys when real housewives of Durban started there are people that used to say that real housewives of johannesburg is still number one listen you guys i don't even think that they are number two three four or five okay <laughs> The Devon girls have taken all of those positions. Living in the country like South Africa, you do not need to get that fancy bag or those shoes in every Instagram picture you post. Sometimes it's nice to be a role model that is simple for young people without always flaunting all that opulence. It's not enough for you to have money. The most important part is what you are doing to uplift the people around you with that money. People in positions of power are, are, are able to do better if you can use your influence for good and just spread the positive vibes. If you can afford to pay just at the basic rates for your stuff, if you can afford to not just pay the basic rate for your stuff, do that. Be, meaning if you can pay extra pay extra okay it goes a long way the people we have running our homes and taking care of our families need to go home and save their own families too so if you can send them home with a little bit of extra money you have you have uh, so that they do not have to get home and still slave away on the stove for their family if you can do it do it if you can pay transport costs on top of their rates that's even better that way they won't have to use a large portion of their income just to get from work and uh back listen you guys at this point i want to work for sorisha how much is she paying okay <laughs> this is information you will not uh, know unless you talk to the people that work for you have a conversation know their children's names know their birthdays just like you would for everyone else that you care about listen i'm ready to give you my children's name just hire me okay treat them like your family and uh, and that you care about them it is also important to teach, uh, teach your children to be respectful too and not just think ah this is just help and i can talk however i want to 
They are their elders and they are in a home, surrender a service. They must be respected. She says, in order for our country to get better, something has to uh, give. We need to change our approach. South Africa needs to change the frequency in which we uh, operate from. If we all take a collective responsibility, make an impact in the lives of the people we interact with, then our, our country will be in a better place. She says, people, especially women, should prioritize their well-being. It begins with not uh, prolonging your happiness for tomorrow. Be the best version of yourself today every day is a test on how you react to life's issues a 47 year old woman of two says that even aging is something people should be okay with we live in a time where social media is a bar in which most people measure their lives and i think that it, it is such a pity women like j-lo who look the way that they do at 50 make other women feel uh, conscious about their age look and wait okay listen you guys i don't know why you will look at j-lo and then feel insecure about how you look okay <laughs> that woman has gone under the knife a few times okay <laughs> i just don't know why she's always a standard of how you should look at 50 okay i say instead of comparing yourself to supermodels and social media people do what you can with your life Eat right, exercise, and that little bit of movement every day goes a long way. Women are now running on masculine energy. And I think we need to go back to nurturing soft and feminine energy. Exactly, Sorisha. And that is the Sorisha you, you gave us in season one. You know, we need a little bit more of that, okay? Please, guys, tell me in the comment section, am I, am I crazy in missing uh, season one, Sorisha? Talking about her life on the show, she acknowledges that she has evolved. In season one, I was getting to know everyone. I've grown since then. One thing still remains the same, though. I will always see the good in people until I don't. I have learned to set boundaries. I realized that I was giving people permission to treat me a certain way, and that had to stop. With everyone, I do not want to let down. I do not want to let myself down. And that has been a major growth fact for me. Now, this season, I am more open-minded and less defensive. She says, energy never lies. And if your body reacts differently when you're around certain people, it's your intuition and you should trust it. Our bodies never lie to us. Intuition is the true alarm bell. You can fake a lot of things, but you cannot fake energy. Our bodies are all about energy. If you need to keep your vibrations high, no matter what, okay you need to keep your vibrations high no matter what okay my daily mantra is universe show me how good it's going to be today then i surrender things to my maker god is there waiting to answer your prayers it may not be today or the next month but he will answer listen you guys it's good to hear because i've been praying for those millions and i still don't have it okay i've been praying to the lord that i also want to be a rich rich housewife but it hasn't happened for me but sorisha is saying here that it, it the prayer will be answered maybe by the time i am eight years old it will be answered i must just continue praying okay <laughs> Anyway, you guys, it's good to hear how she's feeling about the season. I know that she knows that she's messy now this season. But the way that she describes it, she's like, listen, I have evolved, you know, <laughs> from being nice to being messy. And, you know, we do love it, you guys. We do love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think about Sorry, share this season, okay, how she is like uh, this season. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video before Upumegi on Nasha is with your friends, with your family. And even with strangers, Minitanda, Bakul.